our vocabulary strategy for this week is to identify and understand words with ed and ing endings. But not just any words, we're going to call them base words with endings, ed and ing endings. You will hear base word, or also you may hear, I'm going to write it right in red up here, you may hear base word also called a root word as well. Base and root word are going to kind of mean the same thing. So this is what we're going to talk about. Base words with endings ed and ing. So, terms about language. I'm going to put a little red dot. Talk about base word. A word to which endings, prefixes, and suffixes can be added. So right now we're talking about endings. And in second grade, we will talk about prefixes and suffixes. Just so you know, a prefix goes at the beginning of a word, and a suffix will go at the end of a word. We will talk about these those two things in second grade. But today, we are just focusing on endings right now. So, a word, a base word, a word to which endings, prefixes, and suffixes can be added. For example, the base word in unfolding is fold. A base word is also called a root word. And our next term that we're going to talk about is ending. A word part attached to the end of a base word or root word. That can change the meaning of the base word or root word. So hear that again. The ending can change the meaning of the base or root word. That will be very important. I want to talk about the word jump. This is our base word or root word that we will start off with before we move on to adding any endings. And our endings that we are working with are ed and ing. So what I want you to think about is which ending, and I'll write that right here, which ending, if you added it to jump, which ending do you think is used to show past tense, which means it already happened, it happened in the past? And which ending is used to show present tense, which is happening now, today? What do you think? So if you have the word jump, and you said to me, Mrs. Simmon, yesterday, so if you're talking about something that you did in the past, yesterday, I jumped on the trampoline, you would add, and I do not like the way I wrote my J as I stare at that. I'm going to fix that very quickly. That did not look like a J. It looked like a D. Jumped. I jumped on the trampoline. That ED ending is in the past. That's past tense. It already happened. It happened yesterday. You jumped yesterday. I jumped on the trampoline yesterday. So today... Or now, I'm going to change my color to show the ending. Jumping. Present tense. Present. Not like a gift. Present tense. We have jump, jumped, jumping. Jump. Jumped, jumping. Uh, 
And that ed ending. We're gonna and the ing we're gonna see again. Visit. Visit is our base or root word. And we're gonna use ed and ing. So visit. So I could say um, last weekend I visited my aunt. Last weekend I visited my aunt. That ed is added to the verb or the base word visit to show the action that happened in the past. I am visiting today. I am visiting my aunt. The ing is added to show the action is happening now in the present. Present. Now. This was the past. It already happened. Visit, visited, visiting. But walk. Walk. On Sunday, I walked with my mom. Walked. The ed ending is added to show the action happened in the past. Today I am walking with my cat. <laughs> and that is in the present. It is showing that the action is happening now. I have the word wonder. I wondered and I'm going to stop here because I want you to see we just talked a little bit about really focusing on the ED and the ING and we're going to continue to do that but I want you to see the base or root word so when we have the word wondered right here our base or root word is wonder that is the word before the ending was added. I'm going to write it out, wondering. I'm going to write it out without making the ending a different color. My ending is the ing. And I'm still going to underline my base or root word wonder. The base or the root word is the word before the ending was added. Walk. Walked. Walking. going to walk is my base or root word walk walk touch touched my base or root word is touch my ending is the ed touched Touching. My base or root word is touch. My ending is ing. Touching. Touch. Touched. Touching.
we walk at the park. Yesterday, we walked at the park. Today, we are walking at the park. Walk, walked, walking. Once again, our base or root word is walk. And it shows our word in the past and the present. Yesterday, we walked. I am going to look at that sentence. Yesterday we walked. There is a key word in there to help me know that this happened in the past. And that key word is yesterday. Yesterday already happened. That's a key word to already help me know. Oh, that's the past. It already happened. So that's going to be an ED. Yesterday we walked at the park. This key word, today. That's the present. Today, we are walking. That's going to be my ING. Yesterday, I watched TV. Today, I am watching a movie. Once again, my key words. Yesterday, that's the past. Today, that's the present. My root word, watch. My ending, ed. My root word, watch. My ending, ing. Watched, watching. Today for your seesaw activity, you will have to choose the word that best completes each sentence. There will be a choice between two different words. One word with an ed ending and one word with an ing ending. You will have to decide which one best fits in that sentence. Try to look for key words that tell you when it is happening or when it happened. That will best help you decide, do I use an e, a base word with an ed ending or one with an ing ending? And before you go, I'd like to do a quick review of grammar. This will just take a minute because I want to talk about commands and exclamations. A command is a sentence that gives an order. A command begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. An exclamation is a sentence that shows strong feeling. An exclamation begins with a capital letter and ends with an exclamation mark. I have two sentences written right here. The first one I want us to look at is the one in purple. To tell if a sentence is a command or an exclamation, I ask these thinking questions. Does the sentence give an order or show strong feeling? Does the sentence end with a period or an exclamation point? Bring me the lizard. Okay, my thinking questions. Does the sentence give an order or show strong feelings? Bring me the lizard. Well, that sounds like an order to me. It doesn't really, and it doesn't really sound like a strong feeling. It sounds like an order. Bring me the lizard. Okay. And does it have an end with a period or an exclamation? Well, it ends with a period. So, to me, that definitely sounds like a command. A command is a sentence that gives an order, and it ends with a period. So, bring me the lizard. That is a command. Let's check on our next one.
Does the sentence give an order or show strong feeling? And does it end with a period or an exclamation point? That frog is the best jumper of all. That frog is the best jumper of all. No, I definitely needed to read that with much stronger of a feeling. Because that's a strong feeling. They are saying that that is the best jumping frog of all. They feel really strongly about that. And there's an exclamation point. So that means an exclamation is a sentence that shows a strong feeling and ends with a exclamation point. So this is an example of an exclamation. Let's look at two more sentences that I have left off the punctuation. Help me feed the pets. Does the sentence give an order or show strong feeling? And does it end with a period or an exclamation point? Well, there is no punctuation. So we need to think about, does it give an order or show strong feeling? Help me feed the pets. There is not much feeling to that sentence. But it is definitely, to me, it sounds like it's giving an order. Or asking for help. Help me feed the pets. It needs a period at the end. That is a command. And our next sentence, our new pet is terrific. Our new pet is terrific. Is that an order? Or is that a strong feeling? That's a strong feeling. That's how they're feeling about their new pet, and it's terrific. That deserves an exclamation point. Our new pet is terrific. They're excited. Exclamation. So this, second graders, was just a quick little review of commands and exclamations and what to look for and think about when you're trying to decide if a sentence is a command or an exclamation.